Boy and his dogs here playing Hexels Plus. Moving on to puzzle 2 6. Starting with the zero. Okay, so up top, these two columns only have one blue hexagon. And with this dash two, here and here, we know that one of the blue for this two will have to be in these columns. So we can eliminate everything that's beneath uh, these two on both these columns. All right, only three left in that row. Go ahead and mark that off. Okay, where to attack next? Okay, we know the two um, can't be connected with this dash two, so we can eliminate that one. Okay, so we know that the last one is blue for this column. Okay. All right, so we have a dash three. We know that the next one can't be this because we'll, that would make them all connected. So we can eliminate th that one. Okay. So in this column we have four. <clears throat> that means that we would have to eliminate, there'll be three left in this column. So we can only eliminate two. So if we were to eliminate two, which ones would it be? Can we figure that out? It wouldn't be able to be the top and the bottom because then the three would be bunched up. At that point, some of these items would have more than, like for instance, if we had two marked here, then this two would have three around it, so that wouldn't work. So it's looking like we're gonna need to remove this one and this one in order to get this column to work out correctly. Okay, we can eliminate that four. Okay, so we have three in this row now. Can eliminate that bottom one. All right, one, two, three, four. So that row is all done. Two, three for that one. I already have three for that one. Okay, one, two, three for this one. One, two, three. Okay, so we have this column solved. Let's take a look at this one. We have one, two, three, four, five. So the rest of those are blue for that middle column. All right, okay, we have two in this column, so we can eliminate these top two. We now have four in that, we can eliminate this hexagon. Okay. Oop. 
let's see here. What's going to be our next move? So we're only going to have one more left in this column. Okay, again, we only eliminate two more from this column. Let's see if we can't figure this out. So if we eliminated this one and this one, then each of these hexagons would have the right number of hexagons associated with them. If we eliminate the top and bottom, that wouldn't work. So we're kind of like that other row. Eliminate these middle two. The other three are safe. Okay, we have two for that. One, two, three, four. Okay, we already have three in this row. We can eliminate this last one. We now have three in that row. Okay, we have four there. All right, we're getting pretty close. <clears throat> So we know one of these two has to be it for this two. All right, up here, we know that for this dash two, one of these two has to be a blue one. And there's only one in this column. Therefore, for this two to work, this one has to be a blue. So we know to mark that one as blue and the rest in that column are not blue. Okay. So we now have two in that row. We can eliminate this one. There we go, solving that puzzle. Hope that helped. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. See you next time.